So in a previous video, I discussed the differences between the native engine and the web engine. And this uh, is a quick example that I have kind of running here. This is just the emulator running. So I have the native presentation engine window here. And I have a Chrome, uh, basically a Chrome browser open with the web presentation engine here. And they are basically identical to each other. Um, but what if we wanted to have different information uh, displayed to the web presentation engine perhaps than what we would just show to the native presentation engine? So I know a lot of times we, you know, get concerned about what do we put on the web um, client and perhaps maybe just want to create some summary displays or just some different content that is provided to the web presentation engine instead. So when we look at the properties for native presentation engine and the web presentation engine over here in the properties window, we do have this starting uh, window, which is by default the main window. And again, the main window is basically made by default when you create a project. It is the main container uh, that, uh, that will be running and will display all of our screens and panels um, and whatnot that that we that we kind of add into the uh, optics application, but we can create a new um, window, a second window, perhaps. So um, the main window is uh, open here. Just want to take note that it is 1024 by 720. So to create a new window, I can uh, right click on UI go to new and go to containers and we'll choose window. Now uh, I do want to point out that uh, when you go to UI and right click, there is actually an option to choose a new main window. Uh, this is not going to work. Basically it duplicates the main window. And uh, so instead we need to create a container and then a window. Now, by, you know, it's created here, it's called window one. I'm gonna rename this to web um, window. So we'll have a separate, separate window basically that will be used for the web client than the native client. And I'm just gonna drag it up here underneath the main window just to kind of keep them um, uh, basically uh, associated with each other or kind of next to each other, I should say. Uh, just more organized. Um, so if I double click on the web window when I open it, it will kind of default to a 400 by 400 uh, width and height. Again, we want to set our um, width and height to 1024 by 720 to match. So, oops, let me click here. So, uh, 1024 by 720. All right, so now we have our second window, our web window. Now, since I've already have some elements here, I already have a kind of a header that I created and some, some title text, as well as a navigation panel created. So I could, if I wanted to click, you know, so underneath main window, here are those three elements or objects. I could actually, click on each one, uh, hold down the control key, uh, right click, say copy, and click on web window, and then say paste. So basically, I was able to copy paste those, those objects under the web window. So here's the web window. Now, this is a separate navigation panel than the one in the main window. It looks identical right now because I copied it. But if I were to click here on navigation panel underneath the web window, I can delete all of these tabs. So just leaving only the overview tab. Uh, then I can um, further customize this, so if, for instance, we want to make our rectangle, maybe make it a different color for the web. Maybe instead 
of um, blue, maybe we want to make it uh, maybe a green, perhaps, right? Make it stand out. Um, difference from the native. Um, then, if I wanted to, I could actually create a separate screen that would only be visible to the web users. So I, I just right clicked on screens, it said new screen. Maybe I'll call this get web content. And if I double click on that, maybe uh, you know we'll just do something here to to quickly make it again stand out and be different. Uh, just throw a background color on it. Maybe I'll add some kind of a quick label onto it uh, that basically says, you know, web summary or something like that. Uh, just to make this bigger so we can actually see this. I'll just make it really big, All right? So we have a special screen here. And what I could do is come back to my web window and I can take this web content screen, drag it into the navigation bar. So of course, web content is not added to the navigation bar on the main window. It's only added to the web window, All right? So the only thing to do at this point is to go back to my web presentation engine properties and change the start window to the web window, All right? So we can see in the pull down that it gives you all of the available window types. There's only two right now, the main window and web window. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and start the emulator. And I did have the Chrome browser still open here. Um, so let me just type in localhost8080. So now we can see that we have our native presentation engine running here with the blue bar and all of the menu items. Um, and then here is our web presentation engine, which has the green bar and only has the two screens that I've added to the, uh, to the navigation uh, menu. So the, over, the overview screen, which is the same, and the special web summary screen, which is of course not accessible on the um, native. Right, so pretty, pretty simple, pretty easy um, way to differentiate or have different content provided to, um, to the web engine versus the native engine.